Welcome to Tooltech Geek. This is the Gerber Curve. It's a tool that's been around for a while. It's very compact. It has several functions and it has locks. And I just learned that's been discontinued. So you can still get it in Amazon and many other places. But most likely, uh, the only way to get it in the future will be maybe from eBay or such. So could be a chance to get it before it disappears from the market. Um, these small multi-tools, sometimes they don't last too long. They, for example, a lot of Leatherman or even Gerber small multi-tools, they are uh, discontinued pretty soon. Um, I think it's hard to sell small multi-tools because the price cannot be very high. And then um, there's a, a very small profit margin, so it, it's it's most challenging for the businesses to make these small tools. I've been looking at the reviews of the Gerber Curve, and um, they are mixed. In the multi-tool forum, for example, there's like a big review that they just didn't like too much. However. In lots of places, in Amazon or even in that multi-tool forum, some people really love it. They carry it for years, so it's a pretty durable, sturdy little tool. Um, the file doesn't seem too uh, sharp, but people um, seem to like it, at least some of them. I ordered one because um, I was a little curious to see. It's intriguing that all the tools have locks, even in a tiny, tiny multi-tool. And then this uh, flathead screwdriver is big, which is a bit uncommon in small multi-tools. So I thought that was quite interesting. There's even a... There was a clone of these that had scissors in another channel from DSL. I'm gonna put a link. He shows a... A clone that's possibly better than this, but it's, it's impossible to find. So, if you want to get one of these, probably this is the time to get it before it starts disappearing. Although, probably they'll still be around on eBay or such. I don't think it's going to be completely impossible to get. Um, something I like is... They use plastic in parts where you don't need a lot of strength, which makes it lightweight. It has a bottle opener. Um, I don't know, overall interesting design. I like the locking feature. Uh, this Philips and file combination is probably the weakest of the tools. This is a small flathead, could be useful for electronics or uh, fixing uh, eyeglasses, things of that nature. The carabiner spring could be a weak spot that can get uh, damaged over time. But all in all, um, some people really like it, so um, keep it in mind if you like these very small ones. For example, if you make these little like kits where you put a bunch of small items in a little box or something, this really fits. It fits in a tic-tac box, for example. So I like uh, those type of things. So there you have it, the Gerber Curve. Nothing new. There's a lot of reviews about it. I just wanted to give a heads up that it's discontinued. And it's uh, selling at a bit of a discount on Amazon. It was like $13 versus like 19 or something. So one of these rare small tools that appear and then disappear. Thank you for watching.